Meanwhile, the COVID pandemic canceled the 2020 NCAA tournament, so Tampa has not hosted postseason men's basketball since 2011, mm -hmm. but just this week, they'll host the SEC men's tournament. My 13-year-old son is really pumped about Counting this. Counting down the days, uh, yeah. right? Uh, Kevin Lewis, he caught up with the guy who's bringing in those big events to Tampa Bay. You can't really argue. Tampa Bay has been the center of the sports world for most of the last two years. Now, we're just piling on. Whether it was Super Bowl last year, or WrestleMania last year, to this week's SEC men's basketball tournament, we've got Frozen Four coming back for a third time, another women's Final Four. It really takes a team effort to make this happen. Fans flocked to Amelie Arena when Tampa hosted the 2019 Women's Final Four. And Higgins hopes this week's SEC tournament is something that builds the Bay Area's status as a hoops hotbed. We actually were awarded this year's event eight years ago in 2014. So we've had a lot of buildup, a lot of anticipation, and we can't wait to ro roll out the red carpet for all the SEC schools and fans. They have such great fan bases. We feel like we're a great destination, and it's going to be a perfect marriage. Hosting big events is nice, but it's even better when you get to do it again. And again. And again. If they like us, they're going to leave us. If they love us, then they're going to come back. And I think it's so important to try to establish long-term relationships with these events and do everything we can to get them back. Certainly, we've enjoyed our relationship with the SEC, and we'd love to continue to talk to them about what other possible events we could potentially bring here in the future. Play tips off tomorrow night at 6 o'clock when Missouri takes on Ole Miss. That game is followed by Vanderbilt and Georgia. Alabama, your reigning SEC tournament champion. At Emily Arena, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News.